more human bootlegs from Mexico. This Yay. time, huh. <laughs> this time I find this one very interesting in that it is a fully new sculpt, very original sculpt. This is clearly not based on the pre-existing official um, merchandising from Himen. And it has a very unique look. The face looks so different. He looks very young. He looks like an anime. Yeah, he boy. I think they kind of tried to make it a bit anime, a bit Dragon Ball. You can tell that the eyes were not originally intended to be this big. It's more like the paint yeah. goes over the sculpt. You can see that a little and bit. And the eyebrows weird, huh? Yeah, huh? Like there's more sculpting than what they painted for the eyebrow. And also some hair is not painted there. Yeah, I think it's not fully painted. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the hair. Uh -huh. And it looks like he has some ex excess material. Yeah, absolutely. And not just like now we see it because it's such a close up, but it's all over the body. Mm -hmm. Here, this area here also has a lot of excess paint. Interesting that this thing exists and it's a part of other bootlegs in the same style as this. So we're going to see Mortal Kombat in another video. I think Thundercats and other other properties also were made in this same style, Street Fighter and stuff. Now, one thing is that these guys smell way strong, way too strong. Something about the material this and these are heavy, mm -hmm. surprisingly heavy. You don't Very expect dense. them to be this heavy. You can tell that no part of this toy is hollow. It comes with the sword, and uh, oh, it's crooked. It is crooked and <laughs> it's an interesting shape. Bent from all the fights. <laughs> it's also not only bent, but if you were to strain it up a little bit, you will see that uh, it's not straight line, right? Mm -hmm. It was it's very obviously handmade, mm -hmm. very handmade and unique in that sense. But I'm not a big fan of this one, mm. and it's difficult to have him hold it. Uh, as this it's is a, a bendy plastic, it's not obvious in this part, but it's very obvious in the handle. It bends very easily, so you try to to, to peg it. Yeah, see, it bends a lot, like if it's gonna maybe break at the base. So I have been able to put it like only this far, <laughs> and he holds it fine. But anyways, I have found that if you have these two these two elements together in a bag. This paint is going to rub badly all over it, so you can see silver paint here and in other parts and that's because I I stored it together and that was a mistake. You can see uh, some uh, silver oh, paint yeah. all over. I can see that. Alright, let's quick look at the articulation. Let's check, yeah, he has the 360 the neck, swivel at the shoulders, elbow articulation torso Oop. <laughs> <laughs> very flexible <laughs> <laughs> well this is an opportunity to see that uh, everything is cast in this white plastic and painted mm -hmm. on top all right pc pc <laughs> <laughs> all right it's back in there uh yeah the waist we're saying yeah that's the waist articulation and the hips swivel and not fully and uh, not fully 90 degrees and uh, the knees also um, That's rotate. That's an interesting shape for the knee. It's Once, very yeah? interesting, right? So there's a way of doing it without complex peg mm -hmm. systems or... Oh yeah, I see, but that's actually very, very creative. Yeah, and that's part of the, let's say, it gives the identity to this, uh, mm -hmm. to this type of figures that are all like that. They all share that type of uh, basic mm -hmm. uh, uh, articulation, but it's appreciated nonetheless. Do you remember the price tag on this one? 120 pesos. Prices change, you know, it was very different from place to place. And I believe you may be able to find that even cheaper than that. Mm -hmm. It's different. He doesn't really look like He-Man. He looks like a lot younger lad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, looks like a warrior. Mm -hmm.